good afternoon. It's so pretty out. It's Friday. I'm finishing like my food from last night. So I have some fries. I have the uh, ribs that are heating up and we're just gonna have a really chill day. Go to Michael's. I'm just so confused, sorry. I will send you a picture of this uh, because like they're boarding up all the restaurants. So I'm trying to scrapbook some of my stuff for the sum from the summer and from last year. And I found the book that I wanna use for like Tommy and me living here for a year. It has like room for me to write in the sides, which is great. But then I found this hella cute travel book because it comes with so many things. It comes with all these stickers and all of these like additional pieces. Look at the pages, but there ain't no way that my 200 some travel pictures from the summer vacation of last summer is fitting in this, even though it is so cute, but I'm trying to find the best one. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a photo album for Tommy and my experience like living here. And then I'm gonna do an actual like scrapbook scrapbook of our summer vacation because there's 230 pictures I think I said. There's so many different options here. We're facing the wrong way for the options. We have all of these options here, and this is definitely the kind of crafting project I'm gonna need to keep me sane during this time. Maybe like this travel one, life's a journey, I don't know. And then I need some like scrapbook paper. So this is gonna be an expensive hobby. I think we can add pages. This holds 200 photos, so I'll keep that in mind. I do like this one. Okay, I'm getting this one said. Always check because one of these had a super bent page in it like that, and I'm not getting it, but it comes with 10 pages. So there's like 20 sides and um, you can always buy extra paper, so that works. And here are the refill sheets. 12 by 12, 12.99. How many does it come with? 10 more pages? If I can fit six on each page, and six times 20, it's only 120, it's half the picture, so I think I'm gonna take the chance and just get this now. So they're closing in 15 and I really need to find, oh God, I kept walking past it. Here are all the stickers and everything. Okay, and those weren't the right things. Never mind, I'm still looking. It is very, very empty. I don't want to spend money right now, but I need a hobby. I need a hobby. I need something to take away all the stress I'm experiencing, so we got it. If I get these, maybe it'll be better. Like, if I just get 20 of these sheets, it'll cost less than 10 minutes. I decided to make a pit stop at Cherry Blossoms. I'll do a little haul when I get home, but here are the Cherry Blossoms that currently are in front of the Burrard Station. So I missed them last year because I'm pretty sure I just saw the ones at Waterfront, but these are pretty stunning. Okay, so I'm gonna make the rest of the chicken breast that we have. Why I'm so uncomfortable cooking chicken and every time it just never cooperates. <laughs> The flour is in this one. Then I got the egg that I'm still kind of beating. I put three eggs in and then I'll just use this because there's quite a bit of chicken. And then we got the breadcrumbs laying here. So I decided to go with more of like a popcorn chicken vibe instead of just a regular like strip chicken vibe. So we got all of these and I'm gonna put some oil into the pan to do after. But right now I think we're just gonna do all of this and then put them in a bowl and then start putting it into this after because I don't wanna have the heat on in front of it. They tasted really good. We barely made a dent because there are so many of them. Did you like the chicken nuggets? I did. Yeah, they were very yummy. We still need to do this laundry, but I folded the other bit and then I'm about to do very important, very much needed little self-care session. I'm gonna put some Epsom salt into the bath. Do a little bit of the rest of the Avengers film that I watched yesterday because I fell asleep at 11.30 apparently. And I had like an hour and a half left of the first Avengers movie because I'm on my Marvel kick again. So I'm gonna probably do that for a little bit and then head to bed because, uh, I mean, it's Friday night, but where are we going? I got like 13 hours of sleep last night and it was beautiful. So see you either in the next one or tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be tomorrow because I have to do the haul. So tomorrow. Because I had to wait in line so long, I just figured it made sense to get as much as I could. It was a rough walk back. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. With, with bags that weren't like real bags. Um, 
but it was still nice. The line was longer, which means there's even fewer people in the store at a time now. Yeah. Yeah, so they're really, really cutting back on the number of people that are allowed in at, at a time, which is nice. It was a really long line last time, wasn't it? Yeah, did it go past, like, like back towards, like, the hotel almost? Like, by the barber shop? Yeah, yeah. An empty sink is a satisfying feeling because that means I cleaned everything. I'm gonna make another baked potato tonight, so I'm gonna use the same tray as yesterday. And then I'm gonna make some soup. And I also want to have a salad. I realized I showed all this in the store, but I still said I was gonna haul everything before I ended this vlog, because tomorrow is the start of a new one where we're gonna do our d and I got this book, it holds 200 pictures, so hopefully this can handle most of what we did last year and some of this year, and I'll just make it like a continuing like multi-album if it ends up being more pictures, but it's, it's a big thing that we did, so. Yeah, we both moved across the country and, you know, it's a big deal. It says, today is a good day to make a memory, so. I feel like that pretty much captures that. Next, I got the actual scrapbook that I'm gonna be using for my summer vacation pictures, and I actually made that purchase this morning, and I spent about $16 on a little less than 200 pictures from the summer vacation that we took in 2019. So the scrapbook that I'm gonna use is Life is a Journey, Enjoy the Path. I just like the map, honestly. I really wanted to have something that had you know, a map on it. It just looked really cute. I love blue, so like I was already drawn to this pattern. Uh, and color scheme. The next thing I got was a bunch of loose pe paste, loose pieces of cardstock paper. I'm using it as scrapbook paper because it's the same dimension. It's a 12 by 12. I picked up a bunch of them individually because you can buy like a big bunch of them that are like 180 some sheets. And I didn't need 180 sheets, so I just bought individual sheets. I knew that I had close to 200 pictures, but I picked up, I, I wanna say like about 20, just because like I wanted before I wasted a bunch to see what worked. So I have three of these really pretty purple colors. Allison would die. One of these, because I wanted to try out a different pattern. One with the hearts on it. Four of this kind of like pastel colored blue. Sky blue colors. Four like purplish pink, because I feel like it's a nice little neutral color to go with some of our pictures from like Morano and Borano. Got some of these more, um, aquamarine color turquoise that's not quite turquoise sky blue like but like more you know patterned you can see and then this pink one just because i wanted to try it out so all of them are different i feel like the main focus for all of my scrapbook obviously is going to be the pictures on the page and once the pictures come in i'll actually be able to start putting these together i'm just really excited to start being creative with this as you can probably tell i have a lot of things that i'm going to be able to do to occupy my time i.e editing and making fun thumbnails and scrapbooking and I just really need to keep busy during this time because it kind of makes me crazy when I don't have an outlet at all you know I'm not saying I always need to be busy doing like work work things but you know I need a hobby I need things right like that's it's a totally normal thing but now that I don't have you know a pool or anything like that I just finding other things to do so this is going to be a very fun activity that i'm going to be vlogging when all my pictures come in it says it's supposed to take five to seven business days for all the pictures to arrive probably not going to get it until like next week but in the meantime i'll probably just start like planning things out and maybe even sending another order of pictures in because i only did the vacation pictures i didn't do the pictures of tommy and i from last year yet and it's not just going to be like tommy and i like it's not going to be like a house book it's going to be like Tommy and Alicia, first like year in Vancouver kind of thing. So it's gonna have like what I did with school and like what he did at work and all these different kinds of things. So it's not just gonna be only us, it's gonna be like us and our friends and different things that we did together and with other people in the city. Also my back has been like a living nightmare. I'm having so much pain in like my side, my lower back and my front all on my left side because that's the side I turn to sleep on. And I have like nuts radiating everywhere. It's just, so uncomfortable. Like I'll press one part of my back and then my stomach will like spasm because like it's like connected. It's all connected. So I'm trying to roll them out, but then they get really painful. Our right, bed blows. So I think I'm gonna have to either sleep on this one or just cushion our bed a ton with a bunch of blankets. I really don't know what to do about it. Every morning I wake up like just absolutely crippled from our bed. So it's just getting a lot worse and it's not helping the fact that like it hurts in the front too because then I can't differentiate like stomach pain so it's not my favorite thing but we're 
We're gonna problem solve this one. Literally our bed situation because my back is dying. I pulled the topper in from in there and <laughs> here we go. And it's literally hanging off the bed by so much. Like our bed ends like here. I'm gonna roll off this tonight, but I really cannot take the pain anymore in my back. Oh look, a banana peel. <laughs> 